I'm Phil Clapp. I'm from Great Britain, and uh, this will be my fourth indoor rowing world championships. Uh, I'm competing in the men's 500 meter. I actually used to be an on the water rower as a junior up till the age of about 21. After my retirement, I transitioned into racing sailing boats where I'm a grinder and I find indoor rowing a fun way to make sure that I keep fit through the winter. Previously, a few years ago, I worked with Mehdi Cordy, who is now head of Dutch track cycling. Um, for the last runs at my sort of 500 meter, I previously broke the world record. And then more recently, I have been able to work with Johnny Whale. Really, we're just trying to take some of the science that track cycling uses and their training and how well defined their protocols are around their training. I think it's very good to see a different approach to training that I don't really think anyone else is taking in the indoor rowing scene. I think some of the protocols that we've been following in this training program would be beneficial to huge amounts of water rowers as well. Paris was the best organised, best hosted event that I've been to and they really did well to create a bit of an atmosphere. I think it was good having a slightly smaller venue um, because you've got the lighting, the ambience, the shouting, kind of all the competitors were tightly compact in there. I think it worked really well. Um, and with the commentary, it made it feel like a proper sports event. The virtual stuff, it's great. It's flexible. I can't complain too much because I'm going to race in virtually next week, uh, which is great because I think it does mean that you can draw on a wider pool of competition for all the events that you host hybrid. But there are the drawbacks. It's much it's much nicer to sit next to your competitors. And especially after the race, you can celebrate together whether you win or lose. And I think there's an enormous amount of respect when you see the pain the other competitors have to go through.